Walsh, and if you didn't know that already, now you know. So, if you follow me on Insta and Insta, what the f If you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that shenanigans, you'll know that I recently got a hedgehog. Yes, I got a hedgehog. It's awesome. I love having a weird exotic pet. And I'm so glad that it's legal in the state of Oregon. So that's just another plus. I think she's pretty cool and she's she's starting to like warm up to me. <laughs> also, I'm doing a live Periscope feed thing as I'm recording this. So I feel kind of awkward right now. <laughs> if you want to follow me on Periscope, it's just Emily Olsh, I think. I don't, I'm still, I just downloaded it today. So I'm still learning how to use it. Chances are it's just going to be the same thing as all my other social media sites. Just Emily Olsh. So she's like a baby. Um, I think about like a month old, month and a half maybe. And I decided to get a hedgehog because I haven't owned a pet ever since I was 16 years old and I wanted something that wasn't gonna cause a disturbance to other people, I guess. As most people know, I still live with my parents. I still live at home. I thought it'd be nice to get like a contained pet, like in a cage or something. And something that's really cute, something that I've never had before. So I was like, why not get a hedgehog? So I did a bunch of research on them, found a really good, nice breeder uh, near me. Then I scheduled an appointment, made my down payment, and poof, I got a hedgehog. She is a female. Uh, her name is Pines because I was thinking of a name before going to buy her. Like, hedgehogs remind me kind of like porcupines and pine cones. So, pines. That's pines, right? And then, like, their little quills kind of look like little pine needles and stuff. Like, I don't know. It just, it fits. And I'm from the Pacific Northwest, so Pines fits. Um, and I asked a few people about it and they were like, yeah, that's a really good name. And some people like to call her Pines, some people like to call her Pines. I don't really care, but it's just adding on another letter to her name, so it's not really that big of a difference. A question that I get asked a lot is, is she pokey? Does she poke me a lot? Um, yeah, she pokes me when I wake her up and obviously she's gonna be grumpy. That's like me. If you were to wake me up, I, would, I wouldn't be too happy. <laughs> and a lot of people don't understand how hedgehogs' quills work, which I was really surprised to hear that because people would also ask me like, oh, if, how does she, does she poke you like all the time? Like, what is that like? No, she doesn't poke me all the time. <laughs> when she's relaxed, her quills are gonna be laid down and I'll be able to like brush them backwards if I wanted to. Not that I would want to, because it kind of hurts, but. This is what her quills look like when she goes into defense mode, and she also hisses if you like try to touch her. Other than that, she doesn't really talk or make any noises of any kind. I think she's really cute when she eats because she looks so like concentrated and like her whole body shakes when she like crunches into something and like her eyes close and they're just like, she's so cute when she eats. <laughs> and also I think she has a cute little butt when she's like walking into her little pouch thing. She's, she's very squirmy. Um, she, she doesn't like to get her nails trimmed at all. <laughs> A lot of people ask me, oh, why didn't you name it Sonic? Because I'm not basic. That's why I didn't name her Sonic. Oh, what about Amy Rose? I don't know. I feel like that's like, in a way, it's like if someone's obsessed with like Kim Kardashian, then that's like saying, oh, why didn't you name your daughter Kim Kardashian? So as always, I feel super awkward ending videos. Um, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Vine. Periscope if you want to. I'm um, considering I just made my account today. See you guys next time. And oh, you're poking me.